good people this is mr express say back again with another tutorial so previously i've dropped a new remix from me i've dropped through two remixes in my channel uh, the first one is by shiva and uh, the track called you D you don't need to understand and then i did the remix of it uh, as a broken one and then i've also done a the major featuring this we traveler to an afro tap uh afro tap mix uh, afro tap remix so i got a uh, requirement or i got some other people requiring me to make a tutorial how i made Liz M the traveler this one the afro one so yeah they were asking uh, from my email and others from my facebook fan page so i got few the, few of them but i dis I've decided to show you how i made the um, the project so i'm going to load up the project here is it i've used uh, a few sounds on it i've layered some sounds on it but let me show you so this is an afro dub remix like the kick is too punchy and so on it's gonna give you more variety of the dub sound or the afro sounds also mixed with dub you know yeah that is why i call it an afro dub remix so yeah it was simplest vocalist uh it was the simplest vocalist remix like yeah lizzie m is good she's very good on vocals and like very simple to work with the vocal so yeah so she's very 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 good she's awesome on vocals and she doesn't sing a lot on the vocal but he uses a lot of uh what do they call it but he uses she uses um a lot of words but simple vocals yeah here is a remix <laughs> not gonna play the whole vocal i'm not gonna play the whole remix and then also i'm going to switch off the vocal but uh, i wonder i want us to start with the vocal the original vocal of this it's simple and straight vocal like it's a straight vocal like So the vocal is straight and forward. So what I've done to the vocal, I just chopped it up and yeah, like from the beginning of the track, like what I've used <coughs> like this, just chop up the vocals or this, ululu, the ululation part and started, start up my track with, so yeah. And then how I did the processing of the vocals, uh, it's simple. The first, the first layer it's for the, um, it's for the right. Then the second one is for the left. As you can notice, I wanted to balance the stereo because when I was playing the vocal alone, I it seems uh, I heard it like it need more stereo balance you know yeah so i gave it to it and then i separated it pen it to the right and the left this one is the left this one is the right and then i've processed the vocal right here so the first thing i've added it's an eq just to boost the frequencies <coughs> just to boost frequencies that i wanted in the vocal already the vocal is nice and already the vocal was well uh, done but i wanted to put my own texture on the vocal i didn't want to use the vocal the way it was done in studio so and then i put some compression there is this preset right here dss and then i dss the voice uh, so that i can take out the 
the S's. Then I have used this distortion. So without this distortion, it's like this. Like to pull, put more those crunchiness, yeah, to put the crunchiness on the vocal so that when she screams or when she's ululating, like to, it, she can come out on the mixer. And then I've put a delay, yeah, ping pong, the deal, and so on there and there. Then I've put a reverb to close up all the texture of the vocal. And then another thing, let me go to my drums. Yeah, it's my kick right here. Oh, this is my uh, what you call? Yeah, this is my yeah. I've used this one as a sub percussion. Then also, I have this one called Ray. I didn't process it. I just close up uh, I just open up the volume fully and then throw it in the then I have this kick yeah just to give a variety in kick then I have this one it's layered with uh, it's layered with another layer then I've also I'm also having this one is layered with this that one and then I have this one also is layered with that one with is layered with this one yeah and then this one I just throw in some uh, large reverb also compression large reverb stereo enhancer and EQ and also a distortion just distort the sound like to sound yeah it's more distorted yeah and then also also this one, uh, I've just put in a delay, a reverb, and also a, an EQ, just to EQ some frequencies and put boost those frequencies that I, I love, I like in the NS. Then I'm having my strings now. So let me show my strings. I just picked random two keys. I wanted them to sound aggressive and then in my mix I didn't put so much on my strings I just eq the string right here and then put in this one effect uh, just to give a variety to the enhancer also a reverb on top of it and then I'm having this one is found on uh, Citrus it's called this is this name running right here also this thing reverb and also a distortion on top of it just to distort it because in afrotech like a lot of them the the sounds are more aggressive here it's my bass line i've used a grand piano as a bass line right here just take it down to to a2 and put a reverb on top of it also put a reverb and also a distortion also like to be a more aggressive and then uh put this one yeah there's two layers this one it's used and also this one is used yeah and then this is the low sub that i've shown you the here it's my kick. My kick, what I've done to my kick, I just put, just load up in Maximus, also in EQ, and EQ the higher parts, and then I want it to be more punchy and dub. And then I, here, here it comes a, a bass line. A lot of people, they're asking me, how did you make this bass line? This bass line is simple bass. It's a simple bass. I just followed my 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 scale right here to make the bass like mm, like this this part i just chosen an analog bass to and go to this tool right here 
and 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 write on this portal and mono portal and mono and then put max into one and then slide it until right here or it depends on what how on what do you want it to on how much do you want it to slide yeah simple as that then here is the baseline then another thing it's this this part uh this part is just closing up those spaces like right here show you where those do -do 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 -do. i just introduced them yeah right like right here <laughs> up the, the 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 space and then also this one is a tambourine then this is a crash then i've used an aggressive bass this called yeah, aggressive te then just layer it out like this and then put the volume down just to come up in the next part and then this one is a sustaining from this one yeah it's a sustaining i just introduce it in the break like. okay where is it I'm having another this one this one is just a slow uh, what do you call yeah just pick this one just to these mallets to to go in the background just to close gaps then I'm done this is the last one the highest string that makes a variety also and then grand piano but i didn't use this part this one i didn't use it at all like i didn't use it yeah guys so here is the track then all of it then i just put background noises yeah i just make <laughs> So make sure that you, I'm going to include a link down there in this in the descriptions and then you go and listen to the track since I've break it down for you and yeah leave a comment what do you think about the track yeah and then also um, if you are new to the channel please hit a subscribe button yeah and then for another concepts or for another videos so yeah I'm out I'm DJ Expo I'm out